Fort Detrick is an enormous complex. It has been for decades the center of American military research related to biology. For a long time, people were coming out and demonstrating, actually protesting outside the gates of Fort Detrick for, well, projects that we don't know uh, the nature of. Sidney Gottlieb may well have been the most powerful American who was unknown of the 20th century. He was hired by the CIA to run a project that became known as MK Ultra. This project was aimed at uncovering the secrets of mind control. He had not only the right to uh, use prisoners in the United States on an unlimited basis for his experiments and to capture civilians in the United States, but he even had the license to kill from the U.S. government. He would go into foreign countries and ask uh, intelligence officers or uh, military police uh, to recruit uh, prisoners for him, and he could experiment on them and experiment on them to death if he wanted to. So Gottlieb logically concluded the people who know about this are the Nazi doctors who worked in the concentration camps and their Japanese uh, comrades who in some cases had carried out experiments even more intense than what happened in the Nazi concentration camps. So those so-called doctors or medical specialists were brought to work for the CIA and they became the basis of the MK Ultra project which continued throughout the 1950s in deep secrecy. And right now, it is still uh, the center of all American uh, bio-warfare research. If there ever is the need for the U.S. or the desire for the U.S. to develop a bio-weapon, bio it would certainly be made at Fort Detrick. That's the only place it could be made. That's where all the scientists are. That's where all the toxins are. It was highly secret, even for people at work in Fort Detrick. So uh, some kind of long uh, detailed analysis of everything that's happened inside that military facility uh, would be fascinating, but I wouldn't expect it to be yeah. published anytime soon.